that long day behind you. Good times lie ahead with company worth keeping. Then I'll bash a smile on your head. Come on in, the doors open. You'll find just the finest folks here. Pull up a chair, grab a drink, and let our stories your ear. Cause we're the talk, talk, talk the tavern. Here you're always welcome. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. Promising beer and bed love. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. Music, medicine, then some. The talk, talk, talk the tavern. The song's over. Here we come. Okay, and welcome to the tavern. I'm Travis Sivar author of fantasy and sci-fi and my vices tonight in chat our live chat feel free to put your vices right there in chat and we'll read some of them off um i am finishing up a pipe a nice beautiful savinelli lumberjack with some um, cornell and deal dark cherry cavendish and coke zero and i am stroking my fishy fishy pussy Ooh. what about dark you on cherry huh? yeah well, dark cherry. all right well I am knitting and I have tea. Those are my vices. What about you, Ed? I'm I'm drinking wine and wine and more wine. Nice. Do you have to work early? Uh yeah, I gotta get up about four thirty ish. <laughs> well, you get four hours sleep. You'll be all right. Um good. Bree in our live chat says I have water and and Maria says, Vice tonight is bullying the child into doing her laundry. Does that count? Sure. Sure. <laughs> um. <laughs> and, and John, I'm glad you got a lot of work done on the game. So, our topic is going to be the research into the four-day work week. So, here's to a four-day work week. Oh, yeah. We're here. I can get behind that. So, I found an article recently, was going through it, that apparently in the UK, there's been a company, like a charity-type company, that basically went, um, we're going to try a four-day work week. This doesn't mean four 10-hour days. We're sticking to eight-hour days. So, you're working 32 hours, but you've got to keep your productivity up. But you'll only work four days. Now, in this article, they did find there was some problems, and we'll go into that in a little bit. But in general, Andrea, Ed, what do you guys think of the four-day work week instead of five or six or seven? I, I'm looking over at Andrea. She didn't see something. Oh, I'm all for it because that's exactly what I have, and a four-day work week. Mm -hmm. has it, what's that done versus when you had a five-day work week? I'm happier. It's I'm not as flustered, I guess. I just I I prefer it. Mm -hmm. I'm still productive. So, okay. but then I have more time to do the other things. So, what about you, Ed? Do you have some thoughts on this? Well. Two things, keeping my productivity up. Are you expecting me to do in 32 hours what I used to do in 40 hours? Yes. You know, that, that's one thing. The second is, as Maria has pointed out, she's going to miss 16 hours for paycheck. If I'm struggling to make it on 40 hours pay a week, how the fuck am I going to make it on 32 hours pay a week? That is a, that is a fair question. Get a second job? <laughs> so, if you look at it this way, I mean, my the kids are grown and out of the house, so it doesn't matter. But you save on childcare because you're not going to work. You save on the commute, the gas, um, having a meal out or extra, you know, things like that. So you can feasibly do it. I do it because I don't have to have the newest, greatest technology. I'd rather have time than gadget. So it works for me. So a couple comments here. 
Bree says, I would love a four-day work week if it matches what I'm making money for a five-day work week, which is what we're mm -hmm. already saying. And uh, Maria says, the idea of it sounds good, but, like, I would miss the 16-hour slash pay on my check. Uh, you work 16-hour days? And we'll, oh, she comments on that. John says, what do you do on the other three days of work? Um Maria goes on to say, I work 10-hour shifts on my four-day work week, but I love having three days off, even though I'm working longer, because the first day is spent doing all the running around town I need to get done. Then I actually get two days off like the weekend is supposed to be. Um, and then John suggests, seems easier just to pay you per the job, like everybody is salary. It's, uh... And Tal says, my work is vice. Or my work is my vice. Um, mm -hmm. Ah, gotcha. Okay, Maria clarified. Gets paid bi-weekly, so it's sixteen hours for That's those. That's what two. I assumed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I'm just like she's in the salt mines. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> no salary never wins. Maria says salary never wins, though. Like the house always wins. Um, I agree. Salary. Yeah. When friends tell me, "Oh, I'm going to a salary position," I'm like, "So you're about to get fucked." Is what yeah. I'm hearing. You on salary yet? In there, done that. No, not even longer. No, they have to pay me if I answer the telephone. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Some of the problems in this experiment in the UK that were found is the handover of work to the other people. <clears throat> they had to do some work on that type of thing which i i don't understand what the problem was there but and apparently they gave their and this, this was like a bank and a few offices they gave their workers a little light to put on their computer monitor and a green if you're free and you could chat talk do some other things yellow if you're busy but you can still talk while doing it and red if you're just like leave me alone i'm doing the work can't talk and apparently that was helpful. It's, I love a four day work week. I, previously I suggested the solution to our not having enough time is have a 10 day week instead of a seven day week. So you have more time off during the week. Cause a lot of things you do once a week. A lot of people go grocery shopping once a week or do laundry once a week. But a four day work week kind of fixes that. Now, I've also long said human beings are not wired to work the way we work. And if you take an eight-hour workday plus commute time, and a lot of us have an hour commute time. Yep. So that's two hours. You're now up to 10 hours. And let's face it, you have an hour get ready, whether it's eating breakfast, showering, taking care of the kids, washing the dishes that are in the sink, whatever. Um, and you have an hour wind down. Hmm? Knocking off a slice. Yeah. Um, and you have an hour cool down time after work where you're just kind of getting used to being back home. So that eight hour day for some people turn into a 12 hour day with all oh, this yeah. other stuff. And if you I want eight it. hours sleep, you now have four hours to do something, which is essentially eat dinner, watch a show or a movie. Go to bed. Right. Not yeah, a lot of I'm value there. time there. Nope. With that extra and day. And if you off. have kids. Yeah. And if you have kids, you have to do all the stuff, the family stuff and homework and take care of them before you can do that. That's so then job. you have to no done. Maria says, while yeah. humans aren't made for a five day work week, I think finances right now are too tight for too many people for it to work. Maria, we'll talk about that in a minute. <clears throat> John says, we have the incentive that we set a minimum set sales per month. Um, you get 10% of gross over that goal added to check. That's a good incentive. That that mm -hmm. makes the employees part owner-ish. Tal says, I'm supposed to have a four-day work week, but I tend to work nights and weekends out of addiction. That said, it means my days are really flexible and I can basically do what I want when I want. Um I love to work for myself and working for yourself is very different from working for somebody else mm -hmm. <clears throat> because you, the work you do, you see the results, whether it's financial or otherwise. And you can ask Andrea, 
even working for myself now, I, I am working way more than 40 hours a week, but I'm happy mm -hmm. doing it. Uh, it. There's a value in, in doing something for yourself to produce that income that's not going to your day job. John says it, um, that plan is also great for customer service. <clears throat> and Tal says, oh, absolutely. Being able to call the shots is amazing. I don't know that I could ever go back to working for someone else. Maria raises question, when would it end, though? Theoretically, let's say the four-day work week is the new norm. Do we try for three days next? It, that's a very valid point because labor laws... Here, I don't know about there in Nova Scotia, but here, um, you get certain benefits according to how many hours you work. Okay, so once I drop below 36 hours, technically in most of the United States, you're no longer a full-time employee. You're going to no longer get vacation. Amazon built a business on that. Most of the workers are part-time workers, not full-time. Thus... No Most insurance, retail is part -time workers. no yep. vacation, and all this other stuff. So you do lose things with that by federal law. Right. Um, and that sucks. It does. It's Now, this is the whole affordability of living like this. The point, before labor laws, people worked a lot more. Before minimum wage, mm -hmm. people worked a lot more for a lot less. less. And we put these systems into place, and they theoretically fix things, but we find ways. You know, when yeah. cost of living increases this much, you know, and the wage increases five percent of the cost of living increase that much yeah this is why when people are like well we need a 15 dollars minimum wage <clears throat> from the time i started working to now if wage increases had followed cost of living increases we'd all be up to like 36 dollars an hour right now yeah absolutely but with that being said just because your pay increases then the cost increases and people don't want to pay more they just want to make more they just want so to make it doesn't work that way yeah. right yeah and also that's once... why raising the minimum wage alone just doesn't help you got to start freezing some prices in there as well right mm -hmm. it's and we've already seen that as in the u.s wages are going up but i went to buy some pretzels the other day the price of the pretzels have increased by 30 percent which is a lot more than my pay increased. Uh, and I'm yeah. like, uh, <clears throat> couple of comments here. Tal says, I hate it when businesses have poor processes that won't let me change because it feels like stupidity and I feel stuck in a hole where I can't just keep my mouth shut. I have had that problem a lot. <laughs> um, Maria says, I think it'd be hard to keep people going at 100% for four days. Once the novelty of it runs out, then people are going to go back to their normal percentage of productivity. Going back to my work, I can see exactly how productive I am because I respond to customer emails. I answer the same number of emails because I'm still working around 40 hours a week. I know for certain if I was working only 32 hours, I would not be making those same numbers. That's where it has to be broken down into percentages, Maria. Yeah. Um, if you're answering five emails an hour or 12 emails an hour, you have to maintain that percentage because they're getting other employees <clears throat> in there in the hours you're not working. So your productivity needs to be measured. Again, Amazon does this. Everything has metrics or whatever the right term is. And that's how they measure your productivity. How are you doing per hour? How many boxes do you move or whatever you're doing? I used to work a job that I worked thir uh, three days a week and absolutely loved it. But I was working 39 hours. I worked three 13 hour days. Right. And I worked like Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It was freaking awesome. I loved it. Yeah, I, I liked when I was working for other people. If I can work four days 
and do 10 hour shifts, I was happy. Because my thought is, if I'm going to leave the house, I might as well just stay out those extra couple hours. Yep. Because I'm not going to be able to do much else anyway. Um, oh, that's interesting. John says, as a small mm-hmm. business owner, any discussion of minimum wage is good, as long as the plan ensures the owner is part of that minimum wage. Many small business owners work for less than staff. Yep. Yeah, we agree with that. Andrea, did you have some thoughts? Um, I always have thoughts, but <laughs> I guess it depends on the person and the business on if this will work. Where I am, it's a very small business, and it works for us. Four days, no problem. But... I guess it depends on, like, say it's like a law firm or something. Would you want your lawyer only working four days? Yeah. You know, I, it's got to be a case by case. It, it, not one size fits all. Right. <clears throat> That's true. And, you know, for a business that is seven days a week, as I said, they're going to get other employees to cover the shifts that the first ones aren't. But with our system nowadays with health insurance, and I'm speaking specifically for U.S., other countries may differ, health insurance yeah. and other things, that extra day for mental health, as Bree points out in chat, it's absolutely important. And that extra day off for your mental health is great. For your financial health, it can be crippling, especially mm-hmm. since so many of us live paycheck to paycheck, hand to mouth. And to get that cut in pay, I guess it means get another roommate to help cover the bills. Oh, no. there we go. Maria says Canada has the same thing. You have to work X number of hours to get benefits. To get benefits, yeah. And that's something that is a whole can of worms. I can say we should right. fix that. But here in the U.S., we have been dealing with health insurance for everyone Mm -hmm. and it is a very mixed bag it's and it still confuses the hell out of me they definitely have not simplified insurance it no it's it's not simple at all it makes no sense no whatsoever i mean even just choosing a plan i'm just like i i don't know what most of this means i am might as well just pin something on a dartboard and throw a dart and pick it that way Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Maria says, uh, which is where a lot of people get sucked in because they're considered full-time but are getting one or two hours under what they need to get Mm -hmm. benefits. Um, So, yeah, with a four-day work week or a 32-hour work week instead of a 40-hour work week, there would have to be other adjustments across the board. It, It should be. But it may just be a way for big business to say, I can get out of paying those benefits if I go to this 32 hour work. Yep. And uh, my mm-hmm. generalized opinion is the people with the most money get to choose how laws work in general. In general. In general. There are, there are specifics where it absolutely doesn't happen. Um, but yeah, we've seen a lot of things where it's just a matter of who has the most money gets to make the rules. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's healthy for us to have a four day work week oh yeah mental health wise absolutely and if you can't afford oh. the food you're going to lose weight and Americans can use that hey who are you calling fat I'm offended <laughs> see previous episode um, <laughs> it's it's a whole nother topic <laughs> we're going to get a wrap this up here I'm going to put on the closing music while we do our closing toast and uh, I'll read a few more comments during this so here's the mental health and not overworking yourself but damn need that money don't we yeah uh. Let's see, Bree says, I hate money. I think it's the most ridiculous invention ever. 
Maria says mental and physical health would be a lot better, but the structure of it has so much red tape, it's impossible in my opinion. Uh, Maria says, I think the little man would be screwed over because he always is. Amen. It's about to summarize it. Thank you guys. A great one. Okay, and we're out.